So I played a lot of Ragnarok Online in my time, half of which is documented on this channel. You've seen me play RO Classic, RO Pre-Renewal, RO Renewal, and even RO Mobile. I've seen your comments. I hear you. I think 2023 is the year to give Ragnarok Online another shot, for nostalgia's sake. I miss the gameplay, the environment, the BGMs. I've always gravitated to games with the anime aesthetic. And you know what other games have that anime aesthetic I like? Honkai Star Rail. Honkai Star Rail just launched their most recent 1.4 update which includes a new storyline, maps, and characters. Along with the update, Honkai Star Rail is finally making its debut on the PlayStation 5 where you can experience the game in native 4K resolution. So what is Honkai Star Rail and why should you play it? The game is a free to play turn based strategy RPG in a space fantasy setting. You create a party of 4 from a pool of 20 plus fully voiced hacked characters each with their own combat niches, backstories, and charm. One of the new character additions for a limited time is Jingliu, a legendary blindfolded swordmaster. Removing her blindfold reveals her crimson eyes, putting her in a state that further boosts her damage potential. Releasing later this month is the character duo, Topaz and Numbi. Topaz is a cheerful and confident girl with superior business instincts who utilizes her pet Numbi to dish out attacks. To commemorate the 1.4 update, Hoyoverse has graciously provided this with some redemption codes. Download Honkai Star Rail by clicking on the link in the description or via the QR code shown on screen. Once in game, you can redeem the codes below for 50 stellar jade each. Download and play now! I'll see you in the game, Trailblazer! Now back to the video. All right, welcome back guys. My name is D and welcome to the channel. Uh, it's been a long time since I streamed some Ragnarok online stuff. So uh, just a few days ago, I recovered my IRO account on IRO Chaos. And I wanted to check out the renewal server. It's been a long time since I actually played. So there's a lot of new stuff, a lot of new items, quests, even new classes that um, we missed out on. So a couple of things I noticed, uh, Pronterra is actually pretty busy if you look at it, but um, one thing I saw is that there's actually buying and selling. It's like, it's kind of like an auction system. I've always wanted this in the game, but it looks like they finally implemented it. So basically you put in the item and then uh, you put in the quantity and the price you want to buy it at. So this is for like buying, right? And then if you have the item, you just drag it in from there. And uh, in this game looks like I was trying to find how to get like VIP or premium for this. So it's actually under other, but you can actually search at the top for premium and then hit the search button and it'll take you to like a 10 day premium subscription. Uh, it's kind of weird, 10 days. Usually in the past, it's always been like one month subscription. So 250 C is, I believe it's like $2.50. But yeah, let's get into the meat of things. Let's go ahead and since we're level 99, Let's go ahead and trance. Transcendent. Let's get that Master Smith or High Novice started. So we went to Juno and uh, let's go ahead and talk to Valkyrie here. All right. Let's go ahead and talk to her. She should uh, bring us back to one <laughs> level one. So uh, this is one of the things about uh, pre-renewal that a lot of people like. It's just like leveling to 99 and then going back to level 1. Tried to attack the creamy here. Thought I was strong and shit, but apparently nope. <laughs> so I got to job level 10. Talked to the merchant. Um, I guess guildsman, right? And I got to high merchant. I played a little bit of Renewal in the past and in IRO they have like this whole um, there's a lot of like quality of life stuff so I was trying to find how to how to get around because I kind of like forgot 
about some stuff. So like, not really location, but they moved a lot of stuff around. So trying to figure out what they did. So tried to pull up the map and apparently there's like a whole navigation system that they implemented. So I was trying to find Antel. So I tried searching at the top, but couldn't find it. But I eventually found it on the map directly. And it actually shows you like how to get there by like waypoints and arrows. So it's actually from Morok and then on the left hand side um, you guys should see it right here. So there's actually arrows on the ground now, guys. So that's pretty cool. Navigation system, you don't know where to go. New player, just activate that. You can also do a search for monsters, I believe. But in this case, I was just uh, trying to get to Ant Hell so that we can take out some uh, ant eggs and gain the first few levels, basically. And if you guys don't know, Antel was three south of Frontera before, but they moved it after a few episodes. So here's me trying to be trying to be strong, and uh, <laughs> I was one shot by one of those ants there. So I decided to transfer over my hard chainmail from my other character, and that way we could get like a few levels from these defenseless ant eggs yeah we're finally after 20 levels or so we're finally one-shotting so we decided to go to uh, sunken shack let's see if we could uh, get some levels here so that hard chain mail definitely help we aren't getting one shot that much anymore so yeah, just went on straight to mob training and trying to get those levels. You know what I, you know what I mean. <laughs> and then apparently, I can't attack that well yet. <laughs> so um, with me rushing, trying to rush to level here. I kind of like die a lot at the start, but I noticed that I had some like uh, GM max bond items. I don't know where this is from. Um, this account I played on, uh, th this is the account from IRO uh, Classic Loki. So these are all Loki accounts. So it's probably from there. I don't know how I got it, but apparently you can get some Zenny from that. So I got like over a hundred, 150 million from it. So that's pretty cool. So now I can finally fund a weapon once I get to Master Smith. <laughs> or even Mechanic, I'll probably save it for Mechanic. And another cool thing I discovered here is actually just why I like leveling here. guys don't know car drops are actually marked now you get that pink aura I've seen like blue auras and pink auras I think it depends on the rarity of the item but yeah so you don't miss those car drops <laughs> that's a good quality of life so that's a whisper card that we just picked up there all right job 50 high merchant switch over to master smith and nice we finally got that master smith so we're gonna try and level a bit more uh, i kind of have a path laid out already so tune into the next video guys uh this is gonna be an adventure there's a lot of stuff i don't know about uh renewal or iro in general so this is gonna be interesting so there's new classes there's four classes that got introduced a couple of months ago. So we're gonna try and get those and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.